In today's lesson, we'll be exploring how to add mixed numbers with like denominators. I just woke up this morning and you know what time it is? Breakfast! I sure do love breakfast time. For breakfast this morning, Axel and Miss Jewel were making pancakes. Mm, my favorite mommy, mm, my favorite yum yum yum. When we make pancakes, we like to make a lot of pancakes because we hungry. The original recipe for my pancakes calls for one and three fourths cups of flour. So I'm gonna have to use my one cup measuring tool and my one fourth measuring tool. Because I'm also feeding Axel, I need to double my recipe. So I need to add another one and three fourths cups of flour. If Miss Jewel and Axel are doubling our pancake recipe, we're adding one and three fourths plus one and three fourths. How much pancake batter is Miss Jewel gonna need to put in the bowl? So what we're trying to solve is one and three fourths plus one and three fourths. To figure this out, the first thing I need to add together are my holes. So to add my holes, I see one hole plus one hole. One plus one is two. So I at least know that I'm using two cups of flour. The next step is to add my fractions. I see the fractions three fourths plus three fourths. Three fourths plus three fourths equals six fourths. Remember, the denominator stays the same. It's from the same whole, only your numerator will change. Well, what do you notice about six fourths? Six fourths is an improper fraction. Our numerator is greater than our denominator. My whole is partitioned into four, but I need six pieces. So if I'm filling in six pieces, I notice that I don't have enough in my first bar model. I only have four, so I need a second model. This model is the same size because the size is important and partitioned the same way. Now I can add two more pieces to fill out my numerator of six. I can also decompose six fourths to represent our model. The first, the top bar model shows four over four. Four over four is equal to one whole. And then I added another two fourths. When I add four fourths plus two fourths, I get six fourths. And we know that four fourths is the same as one whole. So our fraction now is one and two fourths. So going back to our original problem, we can see that six fourths does convert to the mixed number of one and two fourths, leading us to our third and final step. We need to add our holes to our new converted mixed number. 2 plus 1 and 2 fourths equals 3 and 2 fourths. Miss Jewel used 3 and 2 fourths cups of batter to make pancakes for her and Axel. Look how they turned out. I think I got a little flour on my nose. That's sizzling real good. Oops, I may have burned it. I always burn pancakes. Let me add the syrup. And bon appetit. Mmm, burnt pancakes. Mmm. Mmm. Little sweet, but crunchy. I, I like burnt pancakes, Mama. Mm. Nom. Nom, nom, nom. Thanks, Mom. Until next time, this is Miss Jewel. Catch you later.